Hello fans, before the video subscribe to the channel and leave your like so that we can reach more and more Chiefs fans. We're approaching the end of the regular season and the Kansas City Chiefs need to make a decision about their receivers. There have been injuries that have forced some players into bigger roles, but as the group gets healthier and the playoffs approach, how will the time between the wide receivers be split? Juju Smith-Schuster is the Chiefs' most reliable wide receiver and clear-cut receiver. Smith-Schuster became Mahomes' second favorite target after Travis Kelsey. He has proven to be a reliable receiver, being called upon even in critical situations. For the second time in his career, he has reached the 1,000-yard mark as a receiver. After Smith-Schuster, the hierarchy gets muddled. Marquez Valdez-Scanling, signed alongside Smith-Schuster this offseason, is second in receiving yards for the Chiefs. He needs just 59 yards in the next few weeks to break his career high for receiving yards. The problem for Marquez isn't his production, it's consistency from game to game. In one move, Valdez-Scanling will make an almost miraculous reception and, in the other, he won't even catch an easy ball. One curiosity is that the most used wide receiver since Week 10 was neither Smith-Schuster nor Valdez-Scantling. That title belongs to Justin Watson. Watson was a doubt to make the preseason roster, and he now holds the most snaps of any wide receiver on the team. He does things that made the Chiefs better on offense, he is a menace with his speed, and is trusted by Mahomes and the commission. However, he is statistically one of the worst wide receivers in the league. Wide receivers with at least 20 targets this season, he ranks 111 of 121 in yards per route at 0.92. That puts him in last place on the Chiefs and over two feet below the league average. Just as Watson's usage is confusing, Skymore's limited playtime is very puzzling. Moore was drafted early in this previous draft and expected to play an important role in the team. However, this was not the case, and the why went unanswered. The Chiefs' last two receivers have lost significant time this season, but are gearing up for the postseason. Michael Hardman and Kadarius Toney play very similar roles in the team's attack, and it was something they missed out on in his absence. Hardman and Toney are dynamic and dangerous athletes with the ball in their hands. If all wide receivers happen to be healthy, instant count, highest to lowest, could be Smith-Schuster, Tony, Valdez-Scanling, Hardman, more than Watson. If the last few weeks are any measure, the wide receivers who will receive the most snaps in the postseason are Smith-Schuster, Watson, and Hardman. After that, Tony and Valdez-Scanling played a rotating role and contributed to the offense. That leaves more an odd man out and unless the Chiefs coaching staff has something up their sleeves they're hiding, expectations for more should be low for the rest of the season. If you had to bet what would your list look like from highest to lowest? Tell me here in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe and activate the bell, so you can follow everything that happens about the Chiefs.